Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be sharing this collaboration with you guys. I teamed up with my YouTuber friends in a poppy flower collaboration. I love poppy flowers. And so today we're going to show you several different ideas inspired by poppy flowers. You can learn how to make these yourself. Click on the images and it will take you to a tutorial. And I'm also including all the links in the description box. And I'm going to show you how to make these buttercream poppy flowers and we'll make delicious cakes to go with them. To make the flowers, I'm using American buttercream that I colored with green, red and black food coloring. To make the flowers, I'm using petal tip and two star tips. And you're also going to need flower nail and parchment squares. Spread a little bit of buttercream onto the flower nail and then stick a parchment square on the top. First we're going to make four red petals. So I'm using my red buttercream and I'm using petal tip. You can see the petals are overlapping a little bit. Once you are done piping four petals, take the green buttercream and pipe a large star in the center and then into the green pipe a smaller star with a black. You can see here that the petal I'm using has a narrow part and a wide part. The narrow part is facing out and the wide part is kind of facing center of the flower nail. You can easily make these with royal icing or Swiss buttercream if you prefer. I'm going to stick this into the freezer for about 30 minutes. To prepare the cakes, I made white chocolate mud cake, but you can use other cake if you prefer, like sponge cake or pound cake. I trimmed the top so it was all leveled, and I'm going to use the scraps for the cake pops. I decided to use a tear shape cookie cutter because I love this shape and I thought it would look really pretty with the flowers on the top. So I'm going to cut out as many as I can out of this layer. And again I'm going to use all of the cake to make the cake pops and actually I already made some and I'm going to show you next week how to make these adorable ice cream cone cake pops. Another layer that we'll add to the cakes will be the almond paste. I love using almond paste. So I'm just going to shape it into a log. And then we can sandwich it between two layers of plastic wrap and roll it out. Almond paste is really easy to work with. It rolls out nicely into a super thin layer. And I'm going to use the same cutter we used for the cakes to cut out almond paste layer. This is a similar process as if you were to make um, Petit fours, but because these are larger cakes and I didn't want to waste all that almond paste having it on the whole layer of the cake, so that's why I'm doing cutouts instead. I'm also going to spread some raspberry jam on each cake. I love raspberry jam or any jam, it's like one of my favorite things. And when you add it to the cake, I love how it seeps into the cake over time. And it's just so yummy. My mom hates jam. Can you believe it? How does anyone hate jam? Or I mean, she doesn't hate it. She doesn't like it. That's all. I mean, hate is probably a little too strong of a word, but. And then on the top of the jam, I'm adding the layer of almond paste. It also helps to seal the jam and it creates a really nice smooth surface on the top. 
I'm going to chill these for 4 hours or overnight. To prepare white chocolate ganache, I'm using Ghirardelli chocolate chips and heavy cream. I'm going to heat the heavy cream until it's almost boiling and then we can pour it over the chocolate chips. Let it sit for about 3-5 minutes and then using a whisk, stir it well, whisk it until it's smooth. You can also add flavorings to your ganache if uh, you wish. I'm going to leave it as it is. You may want to let the ganache cool a little bit before you pour the ganache over your cakes, but uh, I recommend testing it on a little piece of a cake just to see if you have the right consistency. I lined my surface with a new product that I just got at actually home goods I uh, picked it up at home goods it's a pastry mat and it's fantastic it's not too big so I was able to fit it into my uh, um, baking sheet and as you'll see right after this you can easily scrape off the dripped ganache and use it on the remaining cakes so it works really really well. I like it better than wax paper because wax paper sometimes tears and this was really easy to clean up. And then you can just finish up covering the last little cake. These are so cute guys. I really enjoy these and they were so delicious. So once you are done covering all of your little cakes, you have to let the ganache set And then you can carefully pick them up and uh, put them on your serving plate. Now take out the buttercream flowers from the freezer, peel off the parchment paper and place them on top of the cakes. And that's how you can make these delectable cakes decorated with buttercream poppy flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to check out the rest of this beautiful poppy collaboration. Stay tuned for outtakes from this episode. Hi guys, it's Hany here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be sharing this collaboration with you guys. I love puppy feet. Puppy feet. <sighs> if you could tell me what puppy feet are, I would be absolutely ecstatic. Just, just let me know what they are because I have no clue.